Where are we going, honey? We are going on an adventure to Metropolis. Metropolis? Metropolis. That's like where Superman and Batman are from. Metropolis. On a Tuesday? On a Tuesday. Why on a Tuesday? Because it's Happy Halloween. Wait a minute. Halloween in Metropolis. I don't know how I feel about this. Have you ever been to the Halloween parade in Greenwich Village? I have not, and I don't choose to. <laughs> you never know what you're going to get. I guess people are just going to have to watch to find out what happens next. Mm -hmm. The Emerald City? Most definitely. I can see Isn't she beautiful? Oh, I think I can see the Empire State Building. I can see it. I can also see uh, Freedom Tower, too. No, you can't. I can't? It's then what? Oh, it's, over, it's, it's not listed. But they got some buildings here that are bigger. Yeah. This Empire they must State be building. brand new. Oh, and I see cranes. You so see cranes? They're not done yet. No, they're not. But that is a beautiful mm -hmm. skyline. Ladies and gentlemen, we are almost to. The park and ride here in Bergen, New Jersey. We're gonna show you how we get into the city cost effectively. Here on the left is the American Dream Mall, as you can see it in the background there, with the big giant Ferris wheel. One of the nice things about this mall is that you can go skiing, you can go ice skating, you can ride the Ferris wheel, and you can take part in a lot of the video games that are there. When we first started going here, the mall was empty, but now it's almost at full capacity. You need an entire day to go there, even to the amusement park and the water park that we both have been to. Isn't she beautiful? And then over here, MetLife Stadium. And MetLife Stadium is right you to the left of that. You can park at the American can... Dream Mall and go to the stadium. Catch a concert, exactly. So when you arrive at the park and ride in Bergen, sixteen fifty a ticket will get you a round trip in and out of the city. This is a very economical way to travel into the city. Once you get on the bus from the park and ride in Bergen, you give them your ticket that you get at the park and ride, and it brings you right into the city. Okay. Once inside the Port Authority, you need to find the right escalator that will take you to your destination, because some of them are gonna take you to the subways and more. We are on our way to go have some dinner before the show. We have arrived at our food destination here in the city. Definitely don't recommend come to How New York City on Halloween. A lot of scary people, masked or unmasked. It's a freak show to begin with. I know, but you decided you wanted to come here. Yay! And here it is, Gogi 37, the number one Korean restaurant in all of New York City. Oh yeah, you ready to get down? I'm ready. Now wait a minute, I don't remember that big a bottle of sake the last time we were here. Oh, this is milk flavored soda. It's milk flavored soda. Milk flavored soda, 6% alcohol by volume. Oh my God, I thought you ordered sake. <laughs> this is the sake. Okay. <laughs> but it looks and like, and this, this. Is, this is what you're drinking in. In Korea. <laughs> and in New York City, obviously. Wow, goes to tell ready? you it's very authentic. I hope it doesn't pour it all over the place. Is it gonna explode? I don't know. No, it didn't explode. Okay. Very little carbonation in there, but. Look at that. There you have it. The fixings have arrived for our Korean barbecue this evening. This is cheese. With corn. With corn. This is kimchi, no spice. Kimchi, no spice. Look, and look that's at, your look at that. egg omelet that's over there. That's pretty cool. And over here's your egg omelet, but I'm not supposed to eat, but that's okay. Well, they also bring us um, 
some various small plates. Right. So you'll have some pickled radishes, you'll have some sprouts, you'll have right. some uh, lettuce leaves if you want to make your own um, little lettuce tacos. Right. Mm -hmm. And you can see the flame already starting up. It's going to be good. Ooh, getting hot. Don't burn yourself. This is how Koreans drink sake. If this is not true, let us know. Wow, it tastes different. Tell us about it. It kind of tastes like a cross between beer and sake. Beer and sake. Yeah, that's what I'm getting out of it. It's a cross between beer and sake. What kind of beer? Bubble? Hmm. I think it tastes like Budweiser. Ew! <laughs> Seriously. Last but not least, the most important three ingredients. Salt. All right. It's in the middle. It's that in the middle. I don't know. He just and, told... Uh, pink sauce. Pink and, salt. Yeah, and bean paste to sauce. Bean paste. Bean paste. And soy sauce. And, and soy sauce. Wasabi. Soy and sauce wasabi. and a little wasabi. The most important three ingredients. And what's going on over here now? Okay, He's so going to start cooking. You want, you want me to uh, first thing so What would you like to... What, what do you like want cook? first? Yeah. What do I want first? Whatever your Let's heart Let's go with desires. the thick cut pork belly. Go right ahead. Right. So I got some chicken caramel. So how Korean barbecue works is they cut up all the meat and then you put it right there on the plate. And they cook it until it's golden brown. So it's a little too thick, you cut it right up. And the look on Glenn's face is absolutely priceless. Our Korean chicken has arrived. Mm. And so have our pan fried gyoza. What's the matter, Lucia? You getting full over there? I miss Japan. We still gotta eat all this chicken. I miss Japan. Mm hmm. Prior to going to Japan, we came here and we did this Korean barbecue experience. Coming back here tonight is bringing back the most vivid memories of Japan when we went there. In the izakayas, the second floor restaurants, the food, the people. The people here at Kogi 37, they are wonderful. They're very attentive and they. Just like the people in Japan, they too <coughs> are very grateful for us, people like us. I'm, I'm just enjoying it. I'm taking it all in because this, to me and to you, Glenn, of course, and maybe to our other viewers, Kogi 37 is the number one place for Korean barbecue. Two-hour ride from Scranton and the Poconos. Come out here and experience it. You're not going to find it between Scranton and Danville. It's happy hour in the bar where the drinks are 20% off from 4 to 7. And? He's got his sake. And you got? I got my Diet Coke. And what's this they dropped in front of us? French fries. This is bad. We're going to have to eat this whole basket of fries after we just ate steak and chicken. Excellent decision for dinner, my friend. Yeah. And now we are on to... The main entertainment. Are you ready? I don't know if I'm ready. You don't know if you're ready? Are you excited at least? Of course I'm excited. All right. That's all Let's that matters. Go to the show. Shit show. The USS Indianapolis, June the 29th, 1945. Two torpedoes from a Japanese submarine slammed into our side. We was coming back across the Pacific from Tinian to Lady. Damn near 1,100 men went over the side. Lifeboats was lashed down so tight for the bomb run we couldn't cut a single one adrift. There was no rafts, none. Oh, for God's sake, I can't say this. It's duller than my tax return. Who gets top billing? Oh, my God, you screwed us. Your name's higher and in the middle. <laughs> Bingo! Saints be praised! You're like a truffle, big boy! <laughs> <laughs> Boy, you are such a bad loser. How many kids do you have? Nine so far. You're gonna need a bigger boat. 
What do you think it's about? What? This goddamn movie. It's about a shark. Do you really think they're going to be talking about this in 40 years? What an amazing play. I love that. That, you know, I've never seen a Jaws movie in my entire life. I went to see this play, and I think I want to see the Jaws movie now. I think you want to see the Jaws movie now. Yeah, I think I do too. Right? Yeah, we'll see about that. Let's do it. We'll try. Why not? I don't know. Okay. We just got out of the show, and I think it's on Broadway a couple more weeks, so and then it's going to be... November 19th. November 19th it ends. The tickets were only $54. That's not bad. No. Not at all. Not at all. So get out and see it while you still can. And uh, hope you enjoyed the trailer because we weren't allowed to videotape or take pictures or anything. So we just downloaded the official trailer from the West End Theater. I hope they don't mind. All right, let's go get some pizza. Let's get out of our way. Pizza, pizza. So we are now at Two Brothers Pizza. Where Biden economics has taken over and the dollar pizza is now one dollar and fifty cents. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Kit. The pizza looks really good. Very cheesy, very flavorful. It's sort of still a dollar though. Of course. Two brothers located outside the back of the Port Authority, in case you're wondering where it's at. We've arrived back in the Port Authority. And we are on our way back to the gate. It's important to know that when you are in the Port Authority after hours that you know which gate your bus is located at. So for us, before 10 o'clock, the gate is different. But we're gonna find out momentarily which gate we need to go to to get out of here to get back to the park and ride in Bergen. On the base floor of the Port Authority, lots of student drawings. And on the other side, a tribute to 9-11. There's a lot to see here in the Port Authority, but after hours, a lot of it's closed. There's some more drawings, very talented. And just like that, there's our chariot. Back at Park and Ride in Bergen, New Jersey. What a wonderful time we had this evening from eating at our favorite Korean barbecue restaurant to taking a show in the city, which there's many things to do. And you can make your own adventure to Riding in and out of the city very affordably, $16 round trip. So now we'll take our ticket, we'll put it in the machine right over there, and away we go. The We're adventure free. home, two hours. Thank you everybody for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment down below. Let us know what your favorite restaurant is in the city here, and let us know what your favorite Broadway play is. We would love to know. Good night, everyone.